Hey everyone, Sylvia here. This is the fourth part in the JavaScript for Beginners series covering null and undefined values. I'm gonna also run through something called type coercion and how that's related to not just the null and undefined value types, but the previous data types that we've covered in the past tutorials. So let's begin. Okay. So if you haven't already pulled up the file on the left, you can do so at the link below, and that'll be easier for you to follow along. Uh, otherwise, we're just gonna focus down here on the console log and have that opened up. So in comparing the null and undefined values, I think as beginner, you can see them as interchangeable or one in the same. Uh, basically, they technically are not the same. I mean, we can go into the complexities of that, but if you're just starting out in JavaScript, in general, uh, you, 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 seeing them as the same is a better way to approach these data types rather than getting into the confusing side of, uh, of JavaScript when starting out. And that's going more into something called type coercion, which we'll go into a little uh, bit later into this video. This is a good resource if you're not familiar with the type of operator, which we're going to be using in the first part of this video. So I'll have that link below, uh, which provides a, a plethora of examples and to help you get familiar with it. Okay, so first we're going to compare types of uh, the type of, of null and undefined. So type of null returns as an object data type, whereas the type of undefined returns undefined data type. So obviously they're not the same uh, types. However, if we were to do a console log, null is equal to undefined, we're going to get true returned back, uh, which is basically saying null and undefined carry the same values, even though they are not the same data type. I know that sounds confusing, but um, if we were to do something like console log, null is precisely equal to undefined, then we'll get a false because technically they are not the same. And uh, this goes further into um, something called automatic type conversion, which is basically the concept of how JavaScript is a loosely typed language. Uh, what that means is if we were to create a variable A, in JavaScript as a language, we're not exactly asked to define what A is. Is it a string? Is it a number? Uh, is it an undefined value? We are not required to provide that data type information in order to use this variable A. And because of that, we consider JavaScript to be a loosely typed language. And in JavaScript, we use something called type coercion, and, and which means we are able to convert one data type into another if an operator is applied. And here are some examples of that exactly in action because it can, it's, it's important to get your head around this concept. You don't need to understand it 100% as a beginner. You just need to know that it exists and that JavaScript allows for this type of um, uh, flexibility in a way. So console log for 
times null. So we have here the number type 4 multiplied by the null data type, which is different from 4. It's not a number. It's not like 5 or number 10. So what's going to return is a 0. And that is because here the null type gets converted into a 0, which then outputs as 0. So another example of type coercion is the number 6 inside of a string minus 1. And that returns as 5 because this 6 converts from a string type to a number type of 6. So 6 minus 1 is 5. Whereas, let's say we take the same expression here and put a plus sign, change the operator around. What do you think we will get here? We won't get 7. We'll actually get 61. And that's because JavaScript is designed to use this automatic type conversion to make 6 from a string convert into a number 6. And that 6 gets concatenated or added, uh, it adds 1 to it, so it becomes 6, 1. I know it could get confusing, <laughs> and that's why this is a little bit more advanced in a way, but I think it's important as a beginner to know that this actually exists in, in JavaScript. Uh, one last exa example here is console log 6 times 2. And here we don't have 6 defined as a number, like above. We have it spelled out, and again, it's being multiplied by a different data type. We're having a string here and a number here. So that outputs as not a number because it does, six is, the string six is different from the number of the string six here. It's not explicit, explicitly obvious to JavaScript that this is a number. So it outputs as not a number. Again, it the, we can get into more complicating examples here, but if there's two things you get out of uh, this video, it's that one, it's you can pretty much say that undefined and null are interchangeable most of the time, although they are not exactly the same and you can pretty much view them as the same uh, value. And two, the existence of type coercion in JavaScript, which is just a really, you know, <laughs> com it, it complicates things um, in terms of the set of rules that uh, these data types are determined to do in certain cases. So just knowing that they exist uh, is going to um, help you down the road as you get more advanced into JavaScript functions and concepts. All right, that's it. I'll see you in the next video in this uh, JavaScript for Beginner series.